Hello, 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 my little goblins. Big boy's about to get some cake. We're going to lead off with Medulci. And we're playing against a loser who likes to play Ash Blossom. Even though I play it too. But since I'm playing it, I'm not a loser. Only the person who's playing against me is the loser, obviously. So we're going to get our... Petting, I'm, I'm pretty much showing you the average combo what you're supposed to do with Medulci if you go turn one. This is not a turn one deck. You see the Dark Ruler no more in my hand? That should signify it to you. But this deck, their turn one is actually not that bad. It's not like horrendous. It could be worse. Because th this deck like thrives on like, it could, it could grind out anything. It's cr kind of crazy how, how, uh, how much like the cards recycle themselves. So we had tickets, so we kind of had, we were lucky having the ticket, because it lets us do these plays a lot easier. But, we're getting our salon. And then we have to go into our link, because we need uh, monsters in the graveyard. So, Chateau can send it back. Okay, so sh since Chateau is sending it back, we get our procs. Off of Salon and off of Pudding, Pudding Chocolate Girl. And then we're going to go into Glass Souffle. And now we have pretty good board. We got a Negate. We got a board of blocking some stuff. He Monster Reborn. And so I, I used Glass Souffle's effect on my Link. Because the Link needs to survive regardless. Because the Link's really important here for protecting my back row. And I didn't want him to Fushuda the Link. Because, like I said, the Link's pretty important in this spot right here. Because if he if he wipes out my back row, I'm screwed. Uh, I also, to be completely honest, I wanted to... I don't know why I thought that I would be able to activate the... Because um, this card can return cards back from the graveyard to the deck on either side of the field. I thought I'd be able to do that to my pudding before the Monster Reborn happened. But... Either way, we have the pomade. That's the reason why I didn't use the trap on the monster born because I knew he probably had Moe. I mean, if he didn't, who cares? He he resurrected my pudding. Like, what is he gonna do with it? A DP, we're fine. We we could beat DP. So our opponent's gonna attack. He's gonna make us use our effect to send the monster back, and then he's like, "Oh, I'm clever." Dude, I used this effect in the beginning. He probably forgot about it. Easy way to tell if you're him is if you have him out, I should lose 400 attack points. But this card had 2,000 still. So that was just... It's an easy miss. Like, I'm going to be honest. It's an easy miss. If I'm get, being the benefit of the doubt. So here we're recycling our traps because this deck's annoying. Just look at this. Look how annoying this deck is. We're going to go into our Tiramisu. Tiramisu's are pretty much our linchpin of uh, winning games. He's going to DP. Which is fine. We activate Glessifu, uh Souffle on Tiramisu. Because we can't have DPE popping it. He activates Blackout. We just use our trap on Blackout. It, it's kind of crazy. Like, you can shut down. You can shut down Sword Soul so hard, and it can still, like, be really annoying to play against. But, either way, look at that. We, we open the floodgates. And this is what's awesome about her ability. Like I said, either graveyard. So now we can re return DPE and Celestial back to his deck. And boom shakalaka, he's he's dead anyway. And look, I had five cards in hand. I did all that and I had five cards in hand at the end of all that. That's the power of Madolce. Alright, we're back and ready for action for game two. We are playing against a loser. Maxiing me. So since he maxied, there's really not much I could do about it. I kinda have to get whatever card this this i get kind of annoyed because like i grabbed that orange light 
So I grab Orange Light, and this guy is playing True K True Draco. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I could have grabbed that Harpies. I really should have just grabbed it. So he ends up getting his Diagram, because that's life. He's going to pop his... I don't know if I would have popped that, personally. Yeah, I, like, why would you pop that? Kind of weird. I get... The only reason he popped that... This is what's going in my head. The only reason he popped that is because those two cards face down are, like, nuts. And I was right, because he has Monarchs Erupt, which, honestly, crazy. We're going to Orange Light his... True Draco. We don't want him getting traps. Shut him out from getting traps. So now he's going to have to... He's going to be starting to get starved on cards. And if he's not going to be able to... If he doesn't summon a card next turn, right? He's going to have to... This is the biggest misplay I've ever seen in my life. He 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 activates Maxi to... to I think he wanted to pop the Maxi in his hand. And he ends up activating Max C, which is such a huge blunder. And then he tries to kill my card, which is indestructible because I summoned it off of Angeli. So Angeli's effect is going to activate. This is where we win. So we still want to starve him out from traps. So we actually called by the grave his, his uh, Dynamite. That way it negates his effect. And now... It's pretty much over from this point. It's like done diddly. Like, there's no way he wins. We just go into Tiramisu. Like, this is enough damage right here. We bounce because we have Field Spell. Give us a huge boost. Boom, and he's dead. Deadly diddly. Remember, guys, if you like these games, I am going to be streaming on Tuesday from 6 to 12 p.m. 12 a.m. Jeez, I keep messing, making the mistakes. From 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. is when I'm going to be streaming on Tuesday. It's going to be Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Still figuring out the time for Sunday, but those are the times I got for right now. It was just overwhelming majority of people were asking for uh, those times, so. And that's going to be on Twitch TV. So this is going to be a pretty standard opener. So this is kind of what you always do with the opener. It's like, it's very basic. It's super easy. It looks complex, but it's very easy to do. It's not that difficult. Remember. All the like most of these cards are not one per once per turn effects. It's actually crazy. We're gonna be able to get our saloon. We go into fresh to start. I love the names on these cards and the art. It's so great. Alright. So if you're playing against Fur Hire, you're probably not gonna play against it much. But when they normal summon, just immediately negate the normal summon. Like, negate him, because he's going to be able to use his effect to special summon other fur hires. And he's, if he starts doing that, you probably he's going to snowball. So, it's very important to just stop this right from the get-go. And he's actually, he's not playing lists I normally see. But he's playing the rookie fur hire to search out. So... We stopped that with Ash, and then he uses Mayhem, and we're able to stop that with the called. And now he's screwed. Now, now our opponent's like, he's he's actually just boned because we don't even care that this really did nothing. Send that back. That's gonna make Salone get our ticket. And it's pretty much, I would say it's game over from this point. Because we activate Ticket, we go into Hoot Cake. Hoot Cake gets banished, we get Ang Jelly. Ang Jelly send, sends into Petting Cease. And we're going to have like way more damage than we ever could need to uh, get our combo off. And I'm only speeding through this because I have so many games to go through. I got a lot of good footage. 
and he's donezo. So at, well, the game, the entire game was won from the link battle that we had, where we were doing chain links. All right, so I am playing against a dude who probably gets the luckiest I've ever seen someone get. And if you guys don't know, I'm a big, avid supporter of Six Samurai, and I'm actually pretty damn good with the deck. I, I went on like a like a 30 game win streak with the deck before. It's uh, the combo is very strong. I, I usually play like a Rongo build where you just instantly win the game if you get it out. Now, in Master Duel, Gateway is limited to one, where it sh probably should be, because it's kind of nuts. But, this man has it in his opening hand. So, in my personal opinion, this man should have absolutely annihilated me. And this was a big guffaw on my part. Because I really wouldn't have been able to do anything, really, anyway. So I think this was fine. So he destroyed both my back row, but he, my ticket and Chateau was able to stay because fresh to start. So if you open with Gateway as Six Sam, it is like pretty much game over for you. Like if I have nothing to, to, to do against him, he should absolutely annihilate me. He goes into like the weirdest play though I've ever seen. He goes into Trishula and from the untrained un, uh, eye, you might be like, hey, that's actually a pretty good play. Trishula is so good, dude. It's so good, dude. Come on, dude. It's not. It's a terrible play with what you can do with the deck. You, you should like be able to go infinite with what he had and build like the most enormous board ever and just kill, kill you pretty easily. Now, his bit, second biggest blunder was not bouncing back Fresh Sister. That was his worst mistake he could possibly make. Now, we get our combos off, and then he attacks Fresh Sister again. Another horrible decision. And then he concedes because he realizes how stupid he was. Even if I couldn't do that, that was just a bad choice. All right, we're here for the last game, and honestly, it's a doozy. This is a, this is a good, juicy one. I know you guys like those back and forths. And they're kind of hard to get sometimes because everyone on uh, Master Duel is a child. I don't know if they're an actual child, but I doubt it. Considering my analytics says everyone that watches me is over the age of 20, then uh, I doubt that they're children. They just cry babies. So if we're going off a of combo, you always, just, just so you guys know, is you always get pudding cess with the the other guy card what is this petting s s i can't pronounce this petting cessoria i can't pronounce it dude i i'm stupid so you're gonna have to deal with it so he's gonna ash my card meaning i do nothing now now the big misplay i did i should have goes and matched instantly on his upkeep because now he was able to kaiju me. He would not be able to kaiju me if he didn't do that. But then when he played Effect Failure, I was like, he's he was clearly going for a Relinquish Enema. That's a level one. So I'm like, okay, I'll go and match that. And he got, honestly, I feel like he got extremely lucky having this level one dark that he was able to go into Relinquish Enema on. But we should be fine because we have the Promenade. The only thing that sucks is we don't have anything good in the graveyard to get back. We don't really care about having Pudding Cess in the hand. But we're able to negate the Anima. We draw into an Angelly. We, remember, we can't summon Angelly because you have Pudding Cess in hand. So what I'm going to do, I see he's playing Gradles. So if you know what Gradles do, most of the cards take control of your card when they die so he just keeps setting it i'm like i didn't know how this interaction works with gozen and gradles but now you see that even though he has a water he can take over the monster and bring it to the side of the field and then he picks what card to destroy so he ended up destroying his kaiju which i'm like okay that was probably the, the right choice though because i could have harpies feather dusted him and then got my kaiju back and killed him so he's gonna ash blossom me, dude. It's just I got. I think I, I keep just getting keep getting hand trapped. Kind of annoying. 
But we let it live. We 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 live. All right. Now we're gonna harpy's feather duster is one card here. <laughs> we have called by the grave, so we can't be stopped. A little too late though. Uh, and we're just gonna I'm gonna speed this up because I'm pretty sure we're just going to annihilate him. We're going to Tiramisu. Oh, actually. I think I might be getting uh, cocked here. Yeah, he's got he's got a battle fader. He's pretty much done though. Though there's really not much you could do. I just let him draw the two cards. It's like I didn't even feel like a need of countering it because Tiramisu can activate again, and he just dies, and my opponent ends up seeing that, and I'm pretty sure he's just gonna give up. Yep, here it is. GG! Hello, little goblins. We're going to be going over Madolce real quick. Let's talk about why we have so many of these little girls in our deck. We have three of these, three of these, and three of these. Why do we have these? These cards all ultimately get... I'm going to call this card Cupcake because I can't pronounce it. It gets our Cupcake. Cupcake, when we summon it, special summon it, we get Pudding Cess. Pudding Cess is very important. Because it's the only way it makes this card work. You are supposed to overlay into Glass Souffle. So Glass Souffle will use its ability to get rid of... So when you're using these abilities, get rid of anything that isn't a Pudding Cess. Unless it is the last material on the card. You get rid of whatever, because you're going to need to. That should put this in the graveyard. Now, you make that going to Pudding Cess, right? Pudding Cess will activate its ability to send this card back to the deck. Now it will summon Owl out of the deck by sending Glass of Fale to the graveyard. Remember, these are not once once per turn effects. Now, Hoot Cake, you're gonna activate his ability to exile Glass Souffle out of the deck to summon Messing Gelato. Messing Gelato is going to search Chateau. Now you're gonna use Hoot Cake and Messing Gelato to go into our link fresh to start. Now, if you at this pump at this moment, if you have another monster that you need could normal summon, that is a Madolce, you can do so. And if you do so, instead of using Hoot Cake, use the new monster plus Messing Gelato to go into Fresh Start, and make sure Fresh Start is pointing towards our stupid Madolce cards because. It has the like it needs to be pointing to a Madolce card, so don't make that mistake. We can use our field spell to send those two monsters we just put in the graveyard back into the deck which will trigger our pudding sets for a final time which we then can bring out another messing gelato which can then grab a promenade or it can grab a salon depending on what the rest of your plays are most of the time i will say you will probably get grabbing a promenade because you grab Salon, you have a good instance of where you know you can shuffle back into the deck so you can get the trap out. Because the trap will give you another, will give you a negate, which is what you want. And then whatever hand traps or interruptions you might have, if you have a Gozen match, it's going to be real nice. The Gozen match will single handedly let you beat Sword Soul, it'll let you beat Sky Strikers, it will let you beat so many decks. Because you can only control one attribute, and once they get that attribute on the field, they cannot special summon, they can't do anything with their cards. And it also prevents your cards from being kaijued. Goes to max is goaded. And I would prioritize having traps or your back row to protect the Gozen Max if you're able to get it out. Other than that, I mean, that's kind of the strategy of the deck. Most of the cards, I will, I'm going to tell you right now. So the games I lost were misplays. And if you play this deck long enough, you're going to do less and less misplays, and I think it's an easy deck to hit Diamond 1 with, personally. Not many people are playing it, not many people know what to do against it, so perfect deck to climb the ladder, especially in a best of one. I hope you guys enjoyed, and catch me on Twitch tomorrow at 6pm all the way to 12am. We're going to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, but if you guys want me to play something else, maybe we can play something else too. But let's go! Bye.